So guys, if you don't know by now, this is Celestial. And she is what we call in the Christian community a prophet, or in her case, a prophetess of the Most High God. She has countless videos, a blog, social media posts of all the prophecies that God has been giving her. And lately she has been gaining popularity because her prophecies are coming to pass. So let me introduce myself. My name is Chandra Marielle and I wear many hats. Among being a content creator, I'm also a private chef and I own a company called The Chef's Agent. I'm also an artist. I style food for private companies. I'm an actress, I sing, and I'm just a creative at heart. But the most important thing I will ever do is be a disciple of Jesus Christ and serve the Most High God. And so for the past six years, I've been on this spiritual journey. And the best way that I can describe it is that God has quite literally been teaching me. And it's been an absolutely amazing journey. And by the way, if my husband happens to come across this post, uh, please come get me because being single is ghetto. So without further ado, here is today's prophecy that has come to pass from the Most High God through the Master's Voice Prophecy blog. I was softly amazed to see what has always been called fringe, what has always been called conspiracy, what has always been con called tinfoil hat nonsense. I was amazed to see it being carried on the major news networks and in one of the fanciest papers, the so-called source of truth in the United States. And I kept saying, wow, just wow. Now a key thing that the Lord- Report on UFOs, the Pentagon's expert warning about a possible mothership coming close to earth. Stay with us. Dreaming the Lord will often bring to my spirit what is priority what is important. A key thing about this news coverage is that the newscasters all had this America. This is stunning America. This is historic America. This is shocking. We're in this with you. And yet the Lord made me know, Celestial, this is absolute lies. That we're in a world of discovery and we have taken we, NASA, have taken for the first time concrete action to seriously look into UAP. Falsehoods. The media knows. So the, their approach was this innocent, shocked, we're as shocked as you approach. And the general thing that they were bringing across was, we want to be as open with you as we can about this. So we're trying to give you guys as much depth here as possible. We're bringing this, bringing this to you as we get it, America. We're in this with you. This is shocking, but we're going to get through this together. But the Lord made me know that it was all lies. He made me understand that these people knew about this, this fact that there are beings here within the United States that look like people and are not people. And as the Lord said in the beginning, some of them are kept under lock and key because their appearance cannot be tolerated by people without extensive prepping. And some of them are kept under lock and key because they are open about their desire to harm and destroy people. So the Lord made me understand that the media were under strict orders to play the middleman position and to side with the public by expressing the same kind of response they think we will have shock, concern, bewilderment and confusions so that the viewers can feel that they have a friend in the media and that everyone is finding out about this at the same time. For what they are, definitive explanations remain out of reach. Schwartz, NBC News. That's one to talk over over the dinner table tonight. I was staring at the TV. I knew that I was watching a very carefully crafted performance so that public perception would not shift and be angry against the government. The Lord made me know that this was a very deep cover up of alien beings living among us for a very long time. While NASA is still working to evaluate the report and to assess the independent study team's finding and recommendations, NASA is committed to immediately contributing to the federal government's unified UAP effort. And as you heard, we have appointed a director of UAP research. 
two weeks of 2024, we have witnessed a video that has both captivated and bewildered UFO enthusiasts around the globe. The new clip shows what some are calling a jellyfish UFO first spotted on a U.S. operations base in Iraq in 2018. But this video is just now making its way into the public eye. Then just days after the video emerged, the House Oversight Committee held a closed door briefing with members of the intelligence community. Mixed reaction on how that if went. you thought 2023 was the year of the UFO, UFO, think again. In just the first two weeks of 2024, we've seen two videos uh, that have both captivated and bewildered UFO enthusiasts around the globe. Not only that, tomorrow, members of Congress will finally go behind closed doors for a classified UFO briefing with the intelligence community's inspector general, who will likely disclose whatever information there is about the existence of an alleged top secret UFO program. This UFO photographed in Europe. Lazar called it the sport model. I, I gave everything simple names. There's a, the top hat one and, you know, I, the jello mold. And uh, the sport model you know, operated you know, without any hitches at all. I mean, it, it looked new. <laughs> if I can, if I know what a new flying saucer looks like. Um, one of them looked like it was hit with some sort of projectile. Uh, it had a large hole in the bottom and a large hole in the top with the metal bent out like uh, some sort of, you know, large caliber, uh, four or five inch projectile had gone through it. Even before he saw the sport model operate, Lazar says, he suspected that the ship came from somewhere else. The realization slapped him in the face the first time he glimpsed the inside of the disc. I got to look inside and it had really small chairs and I think that was the first confirmation I had. That was just a shocking thing because it, every time before that I was able to label it, well this is just Oh, a little advanced that a group of scientists had formed and, you know, they're keeping it secret. And, yeah, we could have built a big disc like that. That's no problem. And, you know, we could have adapted these to make it fly. But why does it have little furniture inside, essentially little seats? And, now it, and things began to click together just all too fast. 